This is going to be a video tutorial on how to create a horizontal button group using HTML and CSS. I'll be using VS Code in the Google Chrome web browser. Let me jump over to my web page to show you what I'm going to create. This right here is the button group that I'm going to create. I've got the hover effect going on and I'll even show you how to link it to other web pages. If I click on this help here takes me to google.com that's what I got it linked to let me jump over to my desktop and get started here okay I'm on my desktop now and I have created a folder which I have just named test and inside of that folder I'm gonna double click on it to open it and I'm gonna create another folder just named CSS I'm gonna right click go down to new up to folder and I'm just going to name this CSS, lowercase, hit enter. Now I'm going to jump over to VS Code and create my files. Okay, I've got VS Code opened up now. I'm going to locate the folder that I just created. I'm going to go up to File, down to Open Folder. Then I'm going to locate the folder that I just created. I named it Test. It's right here. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click Select Folder. Now I'm going to create my HTML file and my CSS file real quick. I'm going to go up to File, down to New File. Then I'm going to go back up to File, and I'm going to save this as an HTML file. I'm going to click on Save As, and I'm just going to call it index.html. I'm going to click on Save. Now I'm going to create my HTML boilerplate. I'm just going to hit a exclamation point. Then you can either click on this wrench or you can hit the tab key. Now I'm going to create my CSS file. I'm going to go up to File, down to New File. Then I'm going to save my file as a CSS file. I'm going to go back up to File, down to Save As. And I'm going to call it Actually, first, I'm going to double-click on this CSS folder because I'm going to place it inside the CSS folder. Now I'm inside that CSS folder, and I'm going to call my file style.css. All lowercase. I'm going to click on Save. Now I'm going to hop back over to my index file, and I'm going to link my index file to my CSS file. I'm going to go just above the title tags here. I'm going to put my cursor down here at the end. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to type link. And then I'm going to click on this wrench here that says link colon CSS. And now the only thing I need to change, I have my file in a folder called CSS. So just after the first double quotations here, I'm going to put my cursor in there and I'm going to, I named my folder CSS. CSS forward slash and then the exact file name, everything is case sensitive. Now if I put my cursor over that uh, CSS forward slash style dot CSS and click on this follow link, it'll take me to my CSS file, which it did. So my files are linked properly. I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to save this. I'm going to click on save all to save both files. Then I'm going to jump back over to my index file. Okay, I'm going to start creating the buttons in my HTML file here. I'm going to put my cursor right between the opening and closing body tags, and I'm going to create a div. Then I'm going to hit enter to separate my opening and closing div. And in the opening div tag, I'm going to put my cursor right after the V. I'm going to make a space, and I'm going to create a class class equals double quotations and I'm going to call this class button dash GP stands for button group then I'm going to put my cursor at the end of the uh, opening button tag I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to create my button tag now I'm going to highlight this I'm going to copy it and I'm going to create uh, four more lines of this here. I'm just going to paste it in here.
And this first button, I'm just going to call home. The second button, I'm going to call gallery. The third button, I'm going to call about. The fourth button, I'm going to call contact. You can call them anything. This is just what I'm the text I'm putting on the buttons. And then the next button, I'm going to call help. I'm going to go up to file, down to save all. Then I'm going to jump over to my web page here. I'm going to go down to the folder that I created here, the test folder. I'm going to double click on my index.html file. And right here is what I got so far. I've got the buttons, but I have no CSS added. This is all the HTML that we need to create these buttons here, but we need to add some CSS to style these buttons. Let me jump back over to VS Code. Okay, I'm going to go to my style.css file now. I'm going to click on that. Okay, I'm going to start off by calling my button slash gp class dot button slash gp and I'm also going to call the uh, button itself then I'm going to make my curly brackets I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to make this float left float colon space left semicolon oops, semicolon I'm gonna hit enter I'm gonna make the background color I'm gonna make it blue I'm gonna go down to the next line I'm gonna create a border and I'm gonna make it two pixels solid now I'm going to make it goldenrod. And I'll put my semicolon here. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to create some padding so then I have some room around between my text and the top, bottom, left, and right of the button. I'm going to make the padding 15 pixels top and bottom and then 25 pixels left and right. put my semicolon there. I'm going to hit enter. I want my text color to be white because I'm going to have a blue background. Colon, space, white, semicolon. I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to make the cursor change to a hand pointer when it goes over the button. Cursor, colon, pointer, semicolon. Then I'm going to put my cursor at the after the very last bracket. I'm going to hit enter twice. I want my I want to clear my floats here. I don't want anything floating over my buttons. So I'm going to call my button group again here. My button class. Button slash GP. And I'm going to put a colon here. And I'm going to put after then my curly brackets and then I'm going to put content double quotations and I'm just going to close that off then I'm going to hit enter I'm going to clear both semicolon then I'm going to hit enter and I want this to display table I'm going to put my cursor down at the end of the last bracket. I'm going to hit enter twice. I'm going to scroll up a little so it's easier to see. And now I want to prevent uh, any double borders. It'll look kind of strange if there's where the borders meet, if there's double borders. And we're almost done here. I'm going to call my button class again. Slash GP and my button directly. Now I'm going to make a colon. 
not parentheses, then I'll put a colon, last child, last dash child, then I'll make my curly brackets, I'm going to make a space, make my curly brackets, I'm going to hit enter, now I'm going to do border right, none. Border right, colon, none, semicolon. Now I'm going to put my cursor at the end of this last bracket again. I'm going to hit enter twice. I'm going to scroll up a tiny bit. And I'm going to call my button class and my button again for the hover effect. Button dash GP button colon hover space my curly brackets I'm gonna hit enter and I want the background color to change background color and I'm just gonna make it uh, I'm gonna make it a green and I forgot one thing up here I misspelt display I'm gonna go up here I'm gonna put an S in there display I had that spelt wrong I don't think I have anything else wrong here but that's all the CSS code right there. Let me save. I'm going to save all. And then I'll go back over to the web page and see what I got now. There we go. And now if you want to actually link this to oh, the buttons to a website, the way to do that, I'll show you how to do that real quick. I'm going to go back over to VS Code. I'm going to go back to the index file, and I'm just going to link the, the last one. If you're linking to a website, it would be the same for all of them, but I'm just going to do this last one here. I'm going to put my cursor after the first in on button, on the, the help button. I'm going to hit a space, and then I'm going to type on click equals double quotations and I'm going to type location.href. Then I'm going to type equals and then some single quotations. You want two single quotations and in between those uh, single quotations you'll put the uh, website that you want to link that button to. I'm going to link it to google.com. I'm just going to paste the link in there and then in between the last quotation and the last double quotation, you want to put your cursor in there and you want to make a semicolon. And then I'll save it. Go up to File, down to Save. I'll jump back over to the web page. I'll refresh. And now I'll click on this Help. And it takes me to Google.com. So that's how you create a horizontal button group using HTML and CSS. Thanks for watching.